Hello guys, thank you so much for tuning in to our channel today. Today's Canva video request is how to show the audio panel on the Canva editor. So let's learn how to do that. Okay, here we are on the Canva editor. And in order for you to show the audio panel, first you're going to have to add an audio file or music to your design. So to do that, in case you want to use your very own audio file or in case you want to import your audio file from your PC to Canva, then go to Uploads, click on Upload Files, navigate to the location where your files are, and then select those specific files. If you want to upload multiple files at the same time, then long press the control button on your keyboard and then continue highlighting or selecting the other files that you want to upload. Once you're done selecting everything, click on open. Let's just choose one for today's video and then click on open. And they'll be uploaded on the audio category here on your uploads section. And then in order for you to add them to your design, you can drag them to your design page and they will be added right over here. So this is the audio panel. What are the things you can do on your audio panel? Well, several things actually. So in case you want to edit your audio track, click on that specific audio track and press or click on this button that looks like three dots. And here you'll be able to find several tools you might find handy when editing your audio. But please keep in mind, Canva is mostly a design platform. So the tools that you're going to find here are limited compared to software or platforms dedicated to audio editing. But here we do have adjust. So basically what this does is that it'll show you the entire song or the entire track and then you'll be able to drag that track um, horizontally and everything that will be included inside this purple rectangle over here or purple box will be the specific part that'll be added to your um, video. So we're going to try it. As you can see, it's cut. So we're going to try to play it. See, it's cut. So I'm just going to undo it by pressing Ctrl plus Z. Let's try it again. And let's see if it starts from the beginning. Yes, it does. So basically, it's also very important to remember that the duration of your audio file will also depend on the duration of your video. So we're going to try adding pages here. And you'll see that as we add pages, our video, of course, gets longer. So our um, music will also get longer. Next, let's talk about audio effects. So if we click on it, we'll be able to see it right over here on the side panel. There are only two things you can do for the audio effects. You've got fade in and fade out. You can adjust the slider or input specific values on these boxes. Let's move on. The next tool we have is Beat Sync. Now, what is Beat Sync? So sync now. Your pages and elements will be automatically timed to the music. You'll also have the option to display beat markers. Canva will analyze your audio track and find beats in your audio track and place markers there. And here are your markers. So if you sync now, all of your elements will be timed according to the beat of your audio track but we're not unfortunately going to see that because we don't have we don't have elements on our design yet so yeah 
And then next we have volume. So of course you can adjust your volume by dragging the slider or you can input specific values here. If you in case want to mute your track, then you can press this mute button. But I'm not going to do that. Okay, 20 should be enough. Let's talk about the next one. So you have duplicate track and then delete track. If you place your this line over here somewhere in between could be here and if you click on this button again you'll be able to see another option and that is to split audio or you can use your keyboard shortcut which is s so by splitting your audio your audio will be split into two let's try the key keyboard shortcut now s and there you go. I'm just going to undo the changes. In case you want to add Canva Pro Music, then you can also do that. Just go to the Elements section. Type in some keywords here that are relevant to the kind of music you're looking for. Say, for example, you're looking for happy music. Then you can search or type in happy on the search bar and then go to the audio category here and in order to listen to the um the results first before adding them to your design you can hover over their picture and then click on the play button just um, a heads up some of these music or some of these audio files can be pretty loud so it would help to adjust your computer's volume first. Okay, so we're going to try to select this one, for example. To do that, we're going to add it to our design. And as you see, you can actually add multiple tracks to your design. I'm just not sure what the maximum number is, but let's try. So I think you can add multiple layers of tracks over here. I'm just going to delete these. I think this is a useful thing that you can do. Um, you can have one track for the um, voiceover or the narration. And then you can also have a separate track for the um, background audio or the uh, music background. So that would be helpful. By the way, in case you decide to use Canva Pro Music, then it's important to take note of these steps for you to not have any copyright issues. So once you finish editing your video and then you're using a Canva Pro audio or music, then this is something you can do. Go to the share button, go to download, Select MP4 as your file type and then tweak other settings here according to your preferences. And then here before downloading, um, it's very crucial that you follow this step. So connect your social accounts. By connecting your social accounts to Canva, your One Design Use Music license will be registered on your accounts. Each time you use this in a new video, export a new design to avoid a content ID claim. So click on this connect social accounts and then click on connect. Make sure to connect the account where you'd like your video to be posted on. And then once that's done, click on download and it should be all right. 
So I think that's it for today so far. That's everything we need to do to know when it comes to audio editing in Canva. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. We hope you found today's video of help somehow. You guys have a great day and we look forward to seeing you in the next video.